Biathlon has always been connected to the beauty of nature, but it also regularly faces its powerful forces. The wind can be a challenge in biathlon. Main thing is uh, security. We need to check that uh, the wind will be not danger for athletes, for organizers and uh, for spectators. On a windy day, I really just try to go with the wind um, and not fight it. Because if you get really tense and want to fight back, then you're not thinking about the target and you're not thinking about your position and you're just thinking about the wind. And I think the most important thing is to keep focusing on the things you have control over and not where the wind is pushing you. I'm looking for Dickinson. Can Usually when I am coming into the range, I look at the general um, pattern of the wind in the trees. And then as I get closer, I look at the wind flags that are directly in front of my point. And then on my site, there's a little dial. And if the wind is up, I'll take a couple clicks into the wind, we call it. So if the wind's from right to left, you take clicks in to the right. Before and during competitions, officials are constantly monitoring the weather. We have a different uh, instrument on shooting grains and on stadium, and also small devices where we can see how strong is a wind chill. These help us to make the decisions during the competitions. I'm measuring the wind speed. At the moment we are safe, but uh, we have a strong wind. If the wind is uh, more than 10 meters per second, it's quite difficult for athletes. In extreme cases, when conditions become dangerous, a jury can decide to cancel or postpone a competition. But thankfully, this happens rarely, and overall, wind is just another ingredient of biathlon.